Hello babes and welcome to a new video here on my channel. Yes, I have a face mask on and I look insane. Was that a chainsaw? <laughs> I'm actually also wearing this face mask because I really wanted to try it out. I got it yesterday with also a huge parcel with milk makeup. Milk makeup is one of those brands that uh, just like one year ago I think came to Sweden and I've been obsessed with the products that I've tried from them and one of the girls working for milk makeup actually asked me if I wanted to try out like pretty much all of their products. So in front of me I have a bunch of stuff and I'm just gonna try it all out and we will review it a little bit. That's why I started with this mask. <laughs> I have two other ones of these. This is the Masha detoxifying face mask. I also have the cannabis one and the watermelon I think it is and I love those two. But I've had it on now for like 10 minutes or so so I'm just gonna remove this and uh, we're gonna do some skincare. I don't really think I've ever done like skincare first impressions in a video but uh, that's what we're gonna do today. Also makeup, of course. <laughs> I'm just gonna wipe this. I can't really say more than I really like it. For eye cream, oops, I'm using this one from Pixie right now. It has retinol in it, which my skin really likes. Then I have this matcha toner. I know a lot of people use the toner with a cotton swab, but apparently you don't have to do that. You can just like dab it into your skin, which is great for me because I don't really like to use cotton swabs. So let's just put this on a little bit all over. Okay, I'm just going to dab it into my skin. Oh, actually it feels really nice. And then I got this hydrating oil that I am extremely excited to try out. I actually feel like this is so good to just have like to put on your like tattoos or anything like that, just like for hydration. But I also have my favorite vegan milk moisturizer that I am almost out of and I've already used one of these up. I usually go in with moisturizer and then oil, but just because this oil is this kind of stick form, I feel like I should use it now. I'm just gonna put on quite a small amount or well yeah like that <laughs> oh it smells so good I am actually so impressed with like everything that I've ever tried from milk makeup and I am so in love with the sticks that they have I just love that kind of formula and also the packaging I really really like moisturizer and then I'm just gonna let that sink in while I also go in with the Kush lip glaze and I think this was supposed to be like a lip mask almost so a very hydrating formula mm -hmm. it might be a more hydrating formula but I also have tried the Kush lip balm and I've actually used one of these and used it up <laughs> completely uh, and I got a new one now and it's this exact same like smell and it looks the same so I don't really know the difference, but this might be more hydrating, I think. It has been like 10 minutes now and I feel like we can put on some makeup now. I actually have two primers, but I have tried this one before. But I have this Luminous Blur Stick. Uh, I haven't tried the Blur Stick, but this is the only one that I got. And I actually am more excited to try the Luminous one. So I'm just going to apply this straight on. Actually, let's put it on this side first, just so we can see if there's a difference. I don't think that I can see the blurring effect, but I can for sure see that it's more luminous on this side than on this side. We are going to go in with their Flex foundation now, and I have tried that before and it's for sure one of my favorite foundations, but now I finally got my exact shade like that and now the sun is gone again but now you guys can see really how good my skin looks so this is the shade shell that i used to have and as you guys can see it is too dark but now i finally have the shade called cream and i think let's hope that this is going to be a really good match yeah i think this is a really good shade for me 
Uh, and I'm just gonna apply it like this. And then I'm gonna go in with a beauty blender and blend this all out. Also, by the way, I have a new beauty blender today because I felt like I needed it. It's one of those days. Sometimes I just need a little pick me up and then a new beauty blender <laughs> can really help with that, you know? I'm a simple gal. <laughs> It is just as good as I remember it to be. Uh, my skin looks so luminous and nice. It's not too much coverage, but it's just what I wanted. And it's a really good shade. This is the Flex Concealer in Porcelain. I think it's the lightest shade, at least the yellow toned. And I have high hopes for this. I feel like all of my favorite American YouTubers that I follow, they always use this one and um, yeah, I want to be like them. <laughs> Beauty blender again with a hair on it, doggy hair as always. Oh my god, can you see the difference? So I feel like as soon as I dab the beauty blender on, it kind of removes some of the Concealer, so I think I'm just gonna apply a little bit more concealer underneath my eyes because I really want it and then right afterwards I'm gonna go in with the blur and set powder from milk makeup I have used this before but I don't really remember what I thought about it as you guys know I only use one powder and that powder only so I haven't really given this a second chance or a chance at all really because I just tried it and then I just went on with using my nabla close up um, but I'm just gonna go in with this right afterwards why have I not used this powder before? it is so blurring my under eyes look amazing although I would have liked a little bit more coverage from that concealer okay you guys know the matte bronzer in baked this is my absolute favorite. I've used it in every single tutorial, I think, ever since I got it, like a year ago. So I'm just gonna go in with that. This is the Anastasia A30 brush that I like to use. And I'm just gonna bronze a little bit. And this one you guys have seen so many times, so I'm just gonna speed this through. As you guys know, the lip and cheek tint in a work is my absolute, absolute, absolute favorite blush at the moment, or it has been for a very long time. And now I got two new other shades. This is how they look. It's this one called Perk, and then this one called Rally, and then this is Work. I think I'm gonna use this one because it feels more like summer. I'm just gonna put this on my cheeks. I mean, look at that. And look at that boring ass and on oh, my lips why can nobody stop me when it comes to blush there we go i'm also going to swatch a rally on my hand just so you guys can see it and then you can obviously blend it in to this really really nice like cool tone almost purple shade i think this one for autumn and winter yes okay so i hope that you guys can see how beautiful the skin looks right now but we're just gonna do it even better <laughs> and apply some of the flex high lighter and this is in the shade called lid i think it is the lightest shade they had a bunch of shades whoops online but i think this is the only one that could actually work on my pale ass skin so let's just apply it right here and as i have a lot of oil here i'm just gonna pat it on i'm just gonna go in with a little bit of the powder again and i'm just going to put this a little bit on the t-zone we have this kush 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 Triple brow pen. I've never heard about this, but I am shook that nobody has told me. When you open this up, by the way, it is in the shade Herb. So it's like a toppy kind of shade. I hope that you guys can see, but it has like three little spiky parts. And that is to make like hair strokes. Can you see? It's such a cool idea. And uh, 
I've been using the Lime Crime uh, Bushy Brow kind of pen and I love that one, but now I mean I can do three strokes in one go. As you guys can probably see, I have just cut off the ends of my brow, so we are gonna do a new ending to the brow. Okay, let's try it. Ooh, here it worked great. Okay, yeah, it doesn't really work here. I can't really get it to do anything. I am gonna go in with some of the Kush Fiber Gel, Brow Gel. I actually got these two shades in Diesel and Herb, and I have Haste from before. I am gonna go in with Herb. Okay, obviously I need something else to fill in my brows because now they don't look like brows, they look more like... I don't even know what. So I'm gonna go in with my normal brow things from Lime Crumb and I'm just gonna fill them in a little bit. I have a few more things, but I don't have a eyeshadow palette. I don't really think that they have eyeshadow palettes, or do they? But I am thinking that I'm gonna go in with the same lip and cheek tint and I'm actually going to apply this a little bit on my eyes. I am going to go in with another eyeshadow palette from another brand and I'm just gonna do a little bit of this like foxy eye kind of look that people are raving about nowadays. I tried to blend out the lip and cheek tint on my eyes with a brush that already had some red on it so it's a little bit darker than it was before but whatever now i'm gonna go in with the kush mascara although i am going to use some lashes afterwards but i'm just gonna use this first so you guys can see how it looks there we go that is how it looks the lashes i'm gonna go in with is my current obsession they are called so hollywood from anastasia beverly hills there we go. I actually only have one lipstick from Milk and it's this one called Wavy. Wavy. Oh my god, that is so hard to say. <laughs> but I have already used that one and I'm not really feeling it. I'm thinking either the KBD Beauty lipsticks in Lolita or Sanctuary. Let's try Lolita first. And let's see, this is Sanctuary. Sanctuary on. Let's use Lolita a little bit in the center. Alrighty, there we go. I feel like it was so long ago since I did just like one color on the lid and like such a simple look. What do you guys think of the skin? I think that I should have went a little bit less <laughs> with the oil and the skincare because my skin is quite oily but i just love oil <laughs> skin but maybe not for a very sunny day maybe for nighttime more milk makeup is just one of those brands that's so impress me i just love their makeup and i love their skincare so yeah i really hope that you guys enjoyed watching this video and enjoy the look i guess and i hope that we will see each other in the next video so be sure to subscribe all right bye guys